Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. And today we are getting ready for Passover. Hi friends, that's correct. Passover is coming up super duper soon. I am starting this video on a Sunday and I'm going to be filming the next few days to release it to you this Thursday, which is the day before Passover starts. I have done a lot of videos already on Passover prep and what Passover is and things like that. So I'm going to link to all of those in the description box below. So if you're interested in some more just kind of general information and maybe some more in-depth information on Passover prep and general information on what Passover is, those videos will be linked in the description box below. For this video today, I'm just taking you guys along so you can kind of see what Passover prep looks like this year. This year, of course, being a little bit different because I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> not during Passover. Here's hoping. Okay, so I have done quite a bit of prep already. I have cleaned almost the entire house. Really all that's left today is the kitchen, but we wanted to get through Shabbat first. We had actually a huge Shabbat meal. Pretty much all of our meals were really big this past Shabbat. We had like 16 people for lunch yesterday and like 14 or 15 for dinner. So yeah, big crowds all day yesterday. Super fun though. Really, really great to spend time with our friends. So I did end up staying up last night and I cleaned the dining room. So all that's left now is the kitchen and just kind of general Passover prep stuff. So my kids are still finishing up breakfast, but I've got some general cleanup in the kitchen. So basically what I need to do for the kitchen is just totally clean it. Uh, and that's the goal for today. And then the kitchen will need to sit unused for 24 hours. So then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do that whole cash room process on the kitchen. I'm also going to be pulling out anything that we plan to kosher for Passover, any dishes or anything that's already ready for Passover, which I already kind of have in different places in the house. I've got bins of things that are specifically for Passover. So I will bring those things out so we can start looking through those, see if there's anything new that we want to purchase this year, or if there are things that we no longer need that we should give away. So that's kind of the plan for today. And then tomorrow, like I said, is going to be the actual kashering of the kitchen. And so should be a pretty jam packed video. I'm super stoked. <sighs> and I'm tired just thinking about it, but that's okay. All right, so with that, let's go get started. Okay, so all of the stuff that I just brought out is our Passover stuff, our Pesach stuff. So that is all stuff that we only use for Passover. I still have stuff in the kitchen that I'll be bringing out, like all of our glass things from the kitchen. So those things will come out uh, a little bit later as I get really working on the kitchen. But I just wanted to pull these out to kind of see what we had going on before I really got started too much on pulling things out of the kitchen. Okay, now that I've got stuff out there, I am ready to start tackling this kitchen pretty hardcore. I've already, you know, kind of started on it a bit and I'm working on as things get clean, like glass things that we're gonna be using for Passover, moving that stuff out here to the dining room because once it's totally clean and rinsed, I can just move it out there and we're ready for Passover. <sighs> and I am gonna make a stack somewhere out there of things that I want to kosher for Passover but I need to go over that with my husband also and see kind of what he wants and what he needs. But I know there's certain things that I know for sure that I want to get done. So those things I can move out now. So, all right, now we're just gonna work on the kitchen here for a little while.
Okay, so I have put the kids to work. They are bringing out silverware uh, that we are going to be kosharing in boiling water. And now they're grabbing cups and metal straws, anything metal basically that we're gonna be using during Passover, they're bringing out so that we can kosher that for Passover uh, tomorrow, I guess. So we're making progress here and it's definitely a family effort. My husband has also come home, so he is working on the stove because I don't wanna deal with any chemicals cleaning the stove. So, Thank you. Oh, so anyways, we're making progress. It's going well. Okay, and I think that's where we're gonna close it for today, but stay tuned because I'll be back in a few seconds with tomorrow. But just to recap what we did today, I was able to clean out all the kitchen counters. I cleaned out a few cabinets. We sorted out all the items that we went to kosher for Passover and we brought out all of our Passover stuff that we had in uh, stored in like closets and stuff. So I think that's a major progress. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, tomorrow I will be able to work on the refrigerator and the freezer and then cleaning the cabinets and lining those with foil. So that is that. And again, I did a, like a full Passover kosher in the kitchen video and that I will list in the description box below if you're interested. But don't go anywhere. Be back in a few moments when it is tomorrow. Hey there. Okay, so it is Monday now and it's like mid-morning-ish, so I really need to get started on the fridge. I've kind of been working on helping the kids figure out what to eat for breakfast because we're still not using our kitchen. So like as far as like the stove, the counters, the sink, all that stuff, we're just not using right now because we're going to kosher everything later on today. So basically I've been making them like plates of food from the pantry or the fridge and we're like eating it out on the front porch. Okay, so um... What else did I do this morning? Oh, um, when I woke up this morning, I started one of our ovens on the self-cleaning cycle and that will make that kosher as soon as it is done. That will be kosher for Passover. And I had a doctor's appointment this morning. I got to see pictures of my baby. So that was super fun. Everything is going well. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go start working on cleaning the fridge. <laughs> That's kind of like my main job, I think, for today. It's just making sure that the fridge is clean. And you know, as part of that cleaning the fridge, it will be sorting out all of the food. Uh, so most of the food that's in there, anything open or anything like that, is gonna need to go somewhere else. We have another fridge that we're not going to clean for Passover. So that fridge I can put stuff in and then anything for Passover I can put in our fridge in our kitchen. So let's go do that. Okay, so that's as far as I'm gonna get on the fridge for this morning. So they did have that late start, having to go to the doctor and all that jazz. But I've gotten things pretty well set up to be able to come back and finish later today. In the meantime, the oven, our, our one oven that we're kashering right now, that self-cleaning cycle will be done in two minutes. So while that is finishing up, I'm gonna get shoes and socks on the kids and we are gonna go out to lunch because our kitchen's really just, I want to say it's like a hot mess right now, but like it's not because it's super clean, but it's not usable right now. We can't use it. So we're going to go out and check out uh, a little kosher market and see what they have there. And that's what we're going to do for lunch. I'm hoping there's some sort of like rotisserie chicken. That's my plan. We shall see. I don't know. I've never been to this place before, but let's go check it out. So it's a small store, but it is super fun to have some more options here in town. So I'm enjoying this.
okay, so they ended up not really having much for lunch, but we did get lots of fun food for Passover, so that was super awesome. And it was fun to just go check it out. Uh, they were really nice there, so I'm sure we'll end up going back to that store again. Uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna hop over to our regular grocery store and pick up, uh, hopefully, some food to go, because <laughs> we need lunch. Okay, so we are back home and now I didn't film at the other grocery store because we just were like in and out of there like super duper fast. And then we came home and we eat sandwiches. Well, I ate my sandwich and the kids are still eating theirs. I was so hungry, I ate it so fast. <sighs> That's okay. So also my floor is now littered with groceries, which is totally okay as well, because we picked up food for Passover at both of the stores that we went to. So yeah, most expensive lunch ever. Um, lunch, by the way, we picked up some, just some rolls and some meat and just made sandwiches and I grabbed like a bag of potato chips. So that is lunch, super duper simple. You can probably hear crunchy chips in the background of this video. My kids are all now crunching loudly to make sure that you hear them. Anyways, uh, yeah, but now that I'm done eating, I'm gonna go back to the fridge and work on that because Going to two stores was not necessarily in the plans and my husband ended up joining us. So like it was just, everything took longer and I'm feeling the pressure. We gotta get back to it. Even though there's really not that much pressure, but that's okay. So I'm gonna start with the oven, putting the top oven on its self-cleaning cycle. The bottom oven is totally done now. And then I can get back to the fridge. Okay, fridge is done. I'm gonna wait on the freezer because I want my husband to help me with that probably later tonight because I don't know which foods he wants to go into this freezer once it's done. And I'm gonna need to like shift things all around because the freezer is full. But anyways, that is good. So, okay, freezer, oven, no, fridge, oven. Uh, I need to do the stroller still in the trash can, so let's keep on going. Okay, so much progress is being made. The trash cans are finished. My daughter ended up coming and helping me with those, so that's fantastic. Trash and recycle, I guess, really. That's what I mean when I'm talking about the trash cans there in the kitchen. You had to clean out that whole area where they fit in, that whole drawer thing, and clean out the actual trash bins themselves. So, whew, now I'm ready to move on to the stroller. But first, I wanted to show you my dining room table and to show you some of the chaos that is involved with Passover preparations. <laughs> okay, so you can see we just got like all the dishes and everything that I had pulled out for Passover. Got the rice over there that I need to check. Um, there's just, I don't know, there's just stuff, stuff everywhere that like needs to go somewhere else but here. And then in my study, it's got all like the food. It's basically like our Passover pantry. So there's bottles of wine and grape juice for the Seder and all the snack items that we have purchased or uh, anything like that, drinks, whatever. It's all in there right now because there's nowhere to put it in the kitchen. I am not gonna clean the pantry for Passover. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna shut the door to the pantry and not worry about that at all. Just pull out the food that's kosher for Passover before Passover. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, things are getting done. I am feeling super accomplished today, even though I'm not getting quite as much done, like time-wise, like I thought it'd be further along by this point in the day, but I am also stopping and resting a lot because I get tired, but that's okay. All right, now I am gonna go clean that stroller. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, stroller's done, trash cans are done, refrigerator's done, plan for the freezer is set for later, and the oven is just doing its thing. So one of the ovens is done, the other will be done soon. I am feeling so super accomplished right now. So that is where I think I'm gonna pause the video for now. I may or may not turn it on this evening. Probably I will, actually, I don't know. If, if my husband's coming in to help like kosher kitcheny things like the counters and stuff, then I'll turn the camera back on for some of that. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn the camera off and go take a nap. <laughs> All right, uh, see you guys in a few moments. Okay, so my husband is home now. It's kind of, I guess, maybe early to mid evening. And so my husband is out back with my son, my oldest son, and they are getting things ready for koshering of all the metal things. So we do that in boiling water. So we have this giant pot and my husband hooked it up to like some kind of propane burner and that's gonna make the water inside boil. And my husband is also outside just really scrubbing the pots and pans that we are going to be uh, using for Passover. So we will get those super duper clean before we uh, put those into the boiling water. So I wanted to explain that because it's super loud outside, but I'll go outside now and film a little bit to show you what is going on and not just tell you. Let's go. Okay, so while the guys are home waiting on that water to boil, I have come out to the grocery store with my daughter. So we are just gonna pick up some bread so that we can make sandwiches for dinner because we had those rolls for lunch, but that we literally only had enough rolls for lunch. So I'm just gonna pick up like a couple loaves of bread here at the store that we can make sandwiches for the next day or so just until we get this kitchen back under control because we do still have plenty of deli meat. I also brought our list that we use. This comes out from somewhere. I don't have the front page. I think it's like the VOD, the koshering agency in um, California somewhere. Anyways, it's like the list of Sephardi food that we could go buy at the regular grocery store and use for Passover. So uh, I was going to grab a few things from this list as well. But that is pretty much where we are for tonight. So that is where we are right now. It's 730 already. So I think actually I'm going to call this video a close because I am very tired. <laughs> And I think this video is probably about long enough. So yeah, I don't know that I'm going to stay up long enough to see my husband do all the costuring of everything because I am pretty tired. I'm pretty beat. So there is still more to do to get ready for Passover, but it's just going to happen over the next couple of days. And that is cleaning the freezer and um, cleaning my car. I think that might be about all. <laughs> putting the kitchen back together. I have cleaned cabinets. I've been doing that kind of here and there the last couple of days so that we have space to put things in the kitchen and cleaning out drawers. So yeah, uh, we'll be putting the kitchen back together tomorrow or so, but you'll see on um, my next video on Monday, I will be filming Friday as we're going into Passover. So that'll be super fun. You'll see my Passover outfit, which is super awesome. My husband's Passover outfit, I hope you'll get to see also. He ordered his from Morocco. And what else? I don't know. Food and table and talking and gifts for the kids. It'll be a fun video. So yeah, stay tuned for that on Monday. And that's all I got. So be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate that. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss my videos. And hit that bell so that you get all of your notifications. And with that, we're calling this one a close. Thank you all so, so very much. As always, I super appreciate you. And I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. And I don't know if I'm going to film anymore. We'll find out.